everybody. My name is Camp Peavy. I'm originally from Tallahassee, Florida. My degree is in marketing, so I'm not an engineer. I'm pretty much self-taught. I started selling computers at the local Radio Shack Computer Center after graduating from Florida State University in 1982. In looking at the computer business, I wanted to take it to the ultimate degree, which in my opinion is mobile robots. Mobile robots are basically microcomputers with eyes, arms, and legs. I picked up a book by David L. Heisman called How to Build Your Own Self-Programming Robot. In the book, Heisman describes an 8085 microprocessor controlled mobile robot named Rodney that you would program with an 8-bit data bus, a 12-bit address bus, and you load the data in one byte at a time in binary. After about five years of wrestling with this graduate-level hardware software project, I finally duplicated Heisman's alpha-level machine intelligence theory with a store-bought IBM PC clone and a Relay I.O. card. This was a real eureka moment. Rodney would roam around since stall conditions and exhibit machine intelligence. Since then, uh, I've built the same robot uh, using the Arduino microcontroller. It's much simpler and much less expensive. Um, I wrote an article in 2005... Uh, for Servo Magazine uh, that describes the, uh, the, the, the describes the protobot. Anyways, this is uh, this robot here. Um, I shall demonstrate uh, Heisman's three levels of machine intelligence: alpha, beta, and gamma. With and, and Rodney's um, theory, when you have differential drive system, that's a two-wheel drive system balanced by two idlers. There are nine possible motion patterns. Forward, reverse, clockwise, counterclockwise, left wheel forward, left wheel reverse, right wheel forward, right wheel reverse, and stop. So uh, if you look at these different motion patterns, only two of them have magnitude or displacement. That is forward and reverse. Everything else pretty much just rotates around a point. And so in Heisman's theory, the, the robots primary mode of expression is motion, okay? And so with a differential drive system, there's only two motion patterns with displacement or magnitude, and that's forward and reverse. So with this little robot, I've got a little encoder wheel here. It's basically a, a stall sensor from a Roomba vacuum cleaner. But the robot, in alpha level machine intelligence, the robot does random motions. In beta level, there's an element of memory to it, so the robot remembers what was successful, and the next time in that motion pattern tries the successful response. And then finally, in gamma, the robot generalizes, so that when it encounters a stall condition for which it has no successful responses, it tries other high confidence level responses before reverting back to random. So when I switch this robot on, at first you'll see it do random motions trying to discover forward and reverse the only motion patterns with any displacement or magnitude. Uh, eventually, when it does a motion pattern and finds either forward or reverse, it'll remember that. And the next time it's in that motion pattern, it tries the successful response. If it's still successful, it increments its confidence level. If it's no longer successful, it decrements the confidence level. So in beta, there's an element of memory. Finally, in the third level of machine learning, or machine intelligence, when the robot encounters a stall condition for which it has no successful responses, it tries other high confidence level responses before reverting back to random motions, and thereby the robot generalizes its experiences. So I'm gonna switch this on and have a look. At first you'll see him doing random motions and eventually it'll start going forward or reverse and eventually it'll just it'll just ping pong back and forth forward and reverse. It's not that the robot anybody can program a robot to go forward and reverse. It's not that the robot goes forward and reverse. It's that it learned to go forward and reverse. All right, here we go. This is this is a robot I call Rodney Jr. So you see it doing random, random motion patterns here. It's just trying stuff to keep that little wheel moving. Unless that little wheel moves, it's not happy. You see the green LED is when he's happy, and the red LED is when he's not happy. By the way, um, artificial intelligence experiments don't always work, so uh, we'll have to see how this goes. 
All right, there he is. You see him going forward and reverse. Again, it's not that the little robot's going forward and reverse, it's that it learned to go forward and reverse. All it's trying to do is keep this little wheel spinning. If this little wheel back here is not spinning, the robot's not happy. Um, let's try it one more time so you see it again, okay? I'll switch him on. And he's doing random motion patterns here. He's trying to discover forward and reverse. The only two motion patterns with any magnitude or displacement in a differential drive system. And there you have it. He's learned to go forward and reverse. It's not that he's going forward and reverse, it's that he learned to go forward and reverse. And this is built with the Arduino microcontroller. Thank you. Let me show you another robot uh, that's uh, basically something we've done at the Homebrew Robotics Club, uh, which I've been part of for over 20 years. Uh, the Homebrew Robotics Club to branch off the original Homebrew Computer Club of Apple fame. This robot here is one I call Buggy. Say hello, Buggy. Uh, Buggy's a table bot. A table bot is a robot that survives, lives, and plays on the table or pays the price. Can you turn the light on? So I'm going to switch him on. We do the uh, table bot challenge. There's three levels. The first level is build a robot that goes from one end of the table to the other and back. Phase two, we call it, is to push a block off the edge of the table. And phase three, he moves the block into a shoebox mounted at the end of the table. I'm just going to do phase one here. So here we go. This is a buggy robot phase one. I have infrared sensors there so that it can sense the drop off and when he's, it's a, this is again an Arduino microcontroller actuating servos and when he senses the uh, edge of the table he backs up and turns left or right depending on whether he senses it on the, uh, uh, whether the, he senses the drop on the left or right. And so there you see he's gone from one end of the table to the other and back and he's completed phase one of the table bot challenge. It's an ultrasonic sensor on the front. Actually, I think that ultrasonics is wired up. I've got it so that if he senses something, he stops. Yeah. So that's the ultrasonic that's sensing the stop. Eventually, I would use that uh, so that it senses the block and he would move the block off the edge. All right, thank you very much. All right, let me show you some fun entertainment robots, and I'll get my lovely assistant, my fiance Nancy, here to help me with it, okay?